Hello, organizer. Who, Hello. Who, who are you? Uh, my name is Beth Eiley. I'm a PhD student at Queen's University Belfast in Northern Ireland. And um, how did you come up with the idea to have an extra meeting, not at the conference, but at a vegan cafe? So <laughs> the vegan cafe was actually a complete coincidence. Somebody just suggested it, and I thought, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, a lot of neurodivergent people have like food allergies, so I thought it just made the most sense um, to have it somewhere where those allergies are catered for by default. I, I fully agree. Are, are you behind the free brownies, or is that? I'm like not. A I'm yeah. not. Um, I did message them in advance, though, so they might be uh, tempting us ah, to try and come back. <laughs> well, we might come back. Um, what is neurodivergence for you? Yeah, um, so I'm autistic, um, so the way that I process information about the world is just a bit different, and the way that I communicate with people is a bit different. Um, and I think, for me, it's like really emphasizing that it's not that there's something wrong with me, I'm just a bit different, um, and that can be a strength as well. Obviously, I do experience some difficulties, um, so in social situations, I can get very, really like overwhelmed, um, and I can kind of struggle to get my thoughts out verbally sometimes as well but um, yeah I think it's all about kind of reframing it and I think that's a really big part of uh, diversity and inclusion which is obviously the theme of the conference so how do you avoid getting into overload with all the people here? <laughs> I, I take long breaks, yeah. to be honest. Um, yeah, this morning I just, I, to be honest, I completely skipped the sessions because I knew I was going to be socialising and I just needed the breaks. We did the same. Came. Yeah, yes, you're, not, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, that is that is nothing. Uh, my wife developed the theory that ADHS people activate autistic persons and autistic persons ground ADHS people. Do you believe that? Yeah. Organize. Organize. Or organize that's that's a really interesting idea. Um, so. Part of the work that I do is with a group called FORT, the Framework for Open and Reproducible Research Training, and it's like a big team science approach to developing open educational resources. Um, and one of the teams that we have in FORT is uh, all about neurodiversity. So the majority of the people in the team are neurodivergent, and we do actually kind of experience that. Um, so, uh, you know, ADHD people will come up with all of these amazing, brilliant ideas. Uh, maybe autistic people will kind of like structure them a bit more. And then maybe there's some people um, that have other neurodivergences and they're really creative, they're really good at writing. There's other people that are really good at um, kind of tailoring things to uh, requirements. So for example, journal submission. Um, so yeah, I, th I think that that's definitely a thing. And I think it's something that we can utilize a bit more in academia, to be honest. Yeah, totally. What, what, is, what is one of your strengths uh, as, a, as a person? <laughs> um, oh, that's, a, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, oh, organizing, oh, yeah, I guess. Organizing yeah. this meeting and giving us free brownies <laughs> even though you didn't even ask for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do, do you think that many adult people, because that's a request that we get in our organization a lot, that many adults are just not diagnosed? Or do yes. you think it's just something that is now modern to become a diagnosis, to be autistic? Because we hear that a lot in Germany. Um, so I think that there are a lot of people that say it's like a trend. Um, I don't think it, well, maybe it's a trend in the sense of like people are now becoming aware of it, but I don't think it's like, I agree. yeah, I think that these people were always, for example, autistic or ADHD or dyslexic. It's just that now we're actually having conversations about it um, and we're uh, recognizing it a bit more. And that means that we can actually kind of make sure that everybody's included. So I think, yeah, it's, it's just that people are, being able to do things, they can be a bit more open about it and um, they can actually start to talk about it and then seek the diagnosis that they should have had when they were younger. And final question, wh wh why do you think people struggle with um, persons who are autistic? I mean, what is the problem? Because I, d I don't see that much of a problem as long as you know they need some quiet time probably or I don't know, you know, like five or six little rules, uh, don't lie probably <laughs> and so, things like that. Then you can very easily get along. I mean, yeah. Um, so in my experience, the issues that I've had have been more about acceptance. Um, so basically all I need is for people to just, yeah, to be accepting of the fact that I need breaks and the fact that, you know, I might not make eye contact when I'm talking to you, but I am still listening. Um, so I think maybe if people in general uh, were a bit more educated um, and if they were a bit more tolerant of just different ways of being then that would probably address most of the issue and I mean there's some really great resources out there now all about neurodivergence um, so yeah, get googling and you'll find them. No, but I don't know, but not you make a good point because that's probably something that relates to to like humanity in general. Just be more accepting, and then many of the alleged problems just disappear, right? Yeah. Okay, I leave you. I leave you to your coffee now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What, what, how, how do you do small talk? 
with other neurodivergent people. <laughs> um, <laughs> if there is a uh, t-shirt that they're wearing, it's probably because of something they're interested in. What, what so, is your special interest t-shirt uh, Mine's anime, so this is from Attack on Titan. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting because yesterday we did a video and I was wearing also a manga, manga anime t-shirt. So I that's think, um, smart talk. I think that, uh, it's, it goes, uh, expert talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Expert, real talk. It's, uh, it's like uh, it has uh, information. Uh, content. 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 Yes. What's the, what's the, what would small talk be? Um, how are you? What's the weather? So well, the weather is content. I mean, what's the weather? Yeah. Do, you, do you think that's small talk or not? Like um, talking about the weather. I get really stressed out about small talk, to be honest. <laughs> I'm really bad at it because I like go off a script. So I'm like, how are you? How is insert event? How is the weather? Like, what did you have for lunch? And then once I've gone through my checklist, I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> talk about anime. Thank you very much. Cheers. There are obviously also allegedly neurotypical people. I don't know if they exist or not. Do you think that? Do you think neurotypical people exist? I think more research is needed to fully answer this question. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, for for those neurotypical people who may be at this conference, I have one suggestion. Please stop talking about us like we're not in the room. We're with you. We're hearing all the stupid things that you say, and we're laughing on the inside. <laughs> what was the most stupid thing that you remember <laughs> that oh, has been said? God, that's a, there's a long list. I think the, the thing that really took the cake for me was uh, somebody in a session the other day was talking about how staff aren't engaging with training around neurodiversity and... Then it came out that, oh, so staff aren't engaging with it, and the training isn't mandatory, and <laughs> this training is in no way actually created by neurodivergent people. And I'm sitting there thinking, hmm, okay, so it's useless training that isn't mandated, and you wonder why people aren't engaging. I think diversity without inclusion of the people who are oh, yeah. actually read is a problem. Yeah. Diverse, I mean, yeah. it, it's not diverse then, probably. Right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, so, um, how 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 would you, what would you suggest for such a meeting? Like, hand out a leaflet beforehand, or I, mean, I, how, I have I have thought about making business cards that say, "Please remember, there are going to be <laughs> autistic people in this room." I mean, the yeah, the glib answer is. Give it to me, I will write the training. I'm autistic. Even if I slap something together in half an hour, that's probably going to be better than someone who doesn't have that experience. <laughs> Do you have problem with your honesty? Sometimes <laughs> that was a very honest thing. Yes, that happens. A final question. My wife uh, came up with a theory that autistic people become motivated and activated by ADHS persons and ADHS persons become grounded and organized by autistic people. Do you believe that? ADHS? Is? Yeah, attention deficit. Right, with you, sorry, yes. Uh, different names for the same thing. Oh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, I would have referred to it as ADHD, but... It's oh, 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 oh no, sorry, oh, that was German for syndrome. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, okay. okay. I see. I'm this aber ich bin nissig. No, 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 that was my fault, I'm sorry, no, that was my fault. <laughs> uh, I think there's, there's certainly something to that theory. I've worked with a couple of colleagues and a couple of friends who have ADHD and we do tend to work together very, very well because they can bring me up and I can sort of bring them back down to earth and be the organized instructor person and they can be the idea generator. So I think there's a lot to be said for collaboration across different forms of neurodivergence. It's possible. Why, and final thing, why don't you wear shades? Isn't the sunlight too bright for you? I mean, honestly, I'm quite happy to not be sparkling like a cliche vampire. So I think shades would be taking it too far. <laughs> Thank you very much.